five minute crafts has entered the world of iPhone hacks. Do they work or will they break your phone? Let's find out. She's using a box cutter to make a hole in the top of a cardboard box, putting her phone in it and then putting the box over her head. Nothing says comfortable viewing experience like lying on a hardwood floor with a cardboard box in your head. I don't know if you've ever dropped your phone on your face. I have, it hurts. What do you do if you have to touch the screen? I guess Pinocchio could have used it. He could have just told a lie. His nose would extend and tap the screen for him. Looks like they're cutting up a hairband, not the Bon Jovi kind. How are you gonna hold your phone if you've got all these pointy springs on the back? It feels like a tetanus infection waiting to happen. You can tell they have a lot of confidence in this idea because they're using a fake iPhone that color never existed. Let's try this out. Yeah, it doesn't work. This is why companies put results may vary disclaimers in their ads. Take a bottle of Coke, a rubber band, and an iPhone, and you've got yourself a perfect little tripod for taking pictures of plants from four inches off of the ground. Just buy a real tripod, no condensation. She's got a balloon and she's pressing her phone on it and now she's got a DIY phone case, okay. You could buy a phone case that actually protects your phone or you could do this. Balloon animals are so 20th century. Let's see if it actually works. <laughs> Pretty simple concept here. Water plus lens equals macro lens. The iPhone 5S is not waterproof. I'm just super impressed by how perfectly she aligns the drop of water with the camera. Does this really work? Not really. No, it kinda did. Kinda. Can you tell which one is which? If you guessed left, you're right. She's cutting up pantyhose and covering her iPhone with it and taking a picture. Yikes. Sepia? More like creepier. Want your pictures to look worse? Here's how. This seems like a rare example of the before photo looking better than the after photo. Does it really work? Let's try it out. No, it doesn't work. We've got another camera filter craft here. Sunglasses are for your face, not your phone. She really should be wearing them. She's squinting. I can't think of a single time I've wanted my photos to look like I was taking them through sunglasses. She's putting her phone in a cup and placing it in the water. Maybe it's a very expensive message in a bottle. It says underwater housing, but that's the smallest house I've ever seen. They didn't actually go underwater, but your photos might make a splash. They found a way to play holograms using this iPhone. It's a teeny tiny holodick. A, ho a holo what? Hol holodeck. What did I say? This is trickier to pull off than it looks. You have to have four videos playing simultaneously. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, that's pretty. They've got a phone case, a 3D pen, a balloon, and slime. Everybody has slime laying around the house, right, David? No. My biggest problem with the egg case is that it would break fast. Do you remember GAC, David? I never heard that word before in my That's life. amazing. If you've heard of GAC, leave a comment below. They've got a piece of felt. It looks like they skinned the Energizer Bunny. I'm hunting wabbits. And they're, they're turning it into another phone case. Good tip for spying on your children. I think they were trying to be cute. It's totally inconspicuous. They're turning a perfectly good sandal into a phone case. It's a new type of croc. I love the acting and the subtle makeup. What do you think she's saying? Billy dumped me. He says my face smells like dirty feet. Assembly foam and a latex glove looks like the beginning to a long weekend. Good luck fitting that in your pocket. If you've ever seen Cake Boss, all the little decorations they use are made of fondant. It's kind of like an edible Play-Doh. I used to eat Play-Doh. That explains a lot. Do people really eat raw fondant? There was a study done that shows that phones are just as dirty as toilets. Please don't eat things off your phone. They're adding orange peels and little flowers to a phone case. I find this design appealing. Another fake phone. Can we take a closer look at that Apple logo? Looks like they need a new printer. The phone case for scurvy patients. I vitamin C your point. Now we're decapitating a baby and cutting into the baby's head. This isn't creepy at all. Reminds me of that episode of The Office where Dwight cuts off the face of the CPR dummy and, and wears <laughs> it as a mask. This is a nightmare. The phone case made by Sid from Toy Story. They're grabbing pen springs, magnets, and creating a nice little makeshift charging station. I think this is kind of a cool idea. It's a cool idea, but you're going to knock those cables off real quick. Many pens were sacrificed during the making of this five minute craft. I hope they repent. Yeah. Can't find your charger? How about cleaning your purse? It's probably at home, plugged into the wall where you left it. I'm surprised no one has worn this fashion accessory to the Met Gala. And it doubles as a duster. My cats would love this. She's got an old shoebox, maybe from those Crocs earlier in the video. If you want a movie projector that doesn't capture the whole screen, here you go. Somebody tell that kid to get down in front. So we're putting tape on a phone and then we're using markers to create a DIY black light. You don't need a black light for a toilet. You know it's dirty. Black lights are for things that are supposed to be clean. Like hotel room sheets. Their toilet's got some weird streaks too. It's almost like they were digging around in there. Easy lamp, we'll see about that. Crush your iPhone with a cup full of dirty bath water. Boom. 
An easy lamp. Why don't they just wrap the headphone cable around their phone? What are those things coming out of the earbuds there? She's using a piece of paper to really brighten up the photo, make herself look better. Want your photos to look really washed out? Here you go. We would never use any camera trickery to make ourselves look better. Mm. Water damaged phone, here comes the rice, David. No rice, that's a pleasant surprise. Have a water damaged phone? Get a water damaged vacuum with this neat trick. I knew they couldn't resist no. the rice. No, no. Not only is this not a craft, it's wrong, it's it's bad for your iPhone and a waste of perfectly good rice. So they're saying to save the little packets that come in packages that keep things dry. Good advice. And put it in a Ziploc bag. Uh, it's hit or miss with a Ziploc bag. Well, it's better than rice at least. Uh, that's for sure. They say it saves a wet iPhone. Actual results might vary. They're taking a panorama and sort of manipulating it so it looks like there's more than one person in the shot. This is one of those things you show your friends and they're just totally not impressed and then you get really mad. Looks like she's playing Duck Duck Goose by herself. She's got a nice little bag for her phone here. It's like that episode of SpongeBob where they had the chocolate bags that held chocolate bags that held chocolate bags. Just grab your snap button press you have lying around the house. I hate snap buttons. They never work. It's so frustrating. Yeah, Just not. snap. Just try to snick them together. I've never had an issue with snap buttons. She's holding a phone underneath her phone camera to make a reflection. It looks pretty cool, but couldn't you just use any old mirror? Yeah, just take the mirror out of your pocket, David, and use yeah, that. Fair enough. You take out the second cell phone you have. Yeah. You criminal. Drug dealer. You adulterer. Narc. Oh, she could use Photoshop to do this. Make sure you bring a microfiber cloth if you're gonna do this, because if you smudge the screen, it's not gonna look good. Right. This five minute craft begins with a close up of someone's butt. Interesting start. Want your butt to look weird and misshapen? Here's how, it's called the pan trick. I know more people who'd be interested in the D pan trick. How is this a craft exactly? You're just taking a, a pan, matching it to your pants, and then somebody's hiding in the closet to make your butt look lumpy? She's sitting on her couch, sending a text, and look, she's discovered iMessage effects. The balloons will not fly up around you in real life. It's too bad for the slam effect they didn't get like John Cena to come in and body slam it. <laughs> I mean, this is really an irresponsible use of 911. I mean, maybe if they were giving her thumbs down. We've got a young woman on the couch looking at her phone and then taking a picture of her boyfriend and slamming it on the table. Yeah, this is going in an interesting direction, but no, she's just trying to read her Instagram DMs without actually having the red receipts in. This feels like one of those hacks that's just an error within the app that a developer is going to fix. Oh, that'll show him. Ghost him. This is not how to have a healthy relationship. No. They're cutting up a squeegee ball toy. They love to cut faces off of things on this channel. Does rubbing cheap rubber on your face relieve stress? I suppose if it works for her. How dirty is that going to get? Some people squeeze stress balls. Other people rub stress balls on their face. Who am I to judge? It's like the 21st century equivalent of healing illness with leeches. They're saying you can fix your phone screen scratches with toothpaste. Don't put toothpaste on your phone screen. It might even be bad for the oleophobic or fingerprint resistant coating. I actually tried this once on a copy of Smackdown vs. Raw for PlayStation 2. It didn't work. Aww. You might not get scratches out of your phone, but you will protect against the gum disease, gingivitis. They're rolling up tin foil and adding it to a pencil to create a DIY Apple Pencil. That's really dumb. Also, Apple Pencils don't work on phones. Why? Nobody knows. She's popping open a CD tray on her laptop, remember those? And putting a $5 bill in there. Who is stashing $5 bills? Sounds like something the kid would do after they get their tooth fairy money, they wanna hide it. Can't be good for your computer to put money in there like that. The perfect stash or how to break your CD drive. Your wallet and pocket also work. They've got a wire and an LED light taping that together so it actually works. Plug that right into a wall socket, kids. Don't do that. And she's hollowing out a lime and sticking the light right in, how about that? And then plugging it into a USB port in the computer. Uh, useful. Why did she put it in a lime? You know, science fairs, they've got a piece of fruit and they hook some wires into it and it somehow becomes a battery and powers the light. I thought that's what this was going to be, <laughs> but instead it's just a USB LED, which is lighting up anyway, and they just stuck it inside a lime. They're sticking the phone inside of a ramen noodle and adding the powder on it, and that's it. This just makes you stupider if you watch it. Maybe they fell for the 4chan microwave your iPhone scam. That's all there is to this video. There is nothing else. I get more confused the more I think about it, can we just move on? She's trying to run with her phone, but she just can't figure it out. Yeah, that doesn't happen when you drop your phone. You could just buy an exercise armband, they're pretty cheap. They're cutting out the bottom of a cup, drawing circles on a cardboard box, and turning the boxes into speakers, how about that? Throw away those expensive Bluetooth speakers, everyone. She's gluing feathers and other crafts onto the back of a phone case. Turn your iPhone into a cat toy, what could possibly go wrong? Pick up your roadkill, turn it into a case. The bird is looking backwards like, why are these feathers 
was flying out of my butt. They're scrapping their toy car for parts. Just grab your spare servo motor. I'm sure you have one of those lying around. Just a reminder, this channel is called Five Minute Crafts. That's a really cool way to bend a ruler if you ever need to bend a ruler. I mean, who the hell thinks of some of this stuff? Some of these crafts are so convoluted. I genuinely don't know where to begin with this. I like how earlier the girl running, she wouldn't buy an armband, but for this girl, they'll build a whole bionic leg for her. She's more a machine than woman now. This is either really dumb or really brilliant. Maybe this is the future. Maybe it isn't. It's not. Well, who's got the 70 million subs, David? Uh, not me. Five Minute Crafts. Ugh. Imagine the poor editor at Five Minute Crafts having to watch these over and over and over again. Oh my God. Yeah. We like take 300 of that one. They're turning an old Tic Tac case into a headphone holder. I'll give them this one. It's pretty neat. It's just too bad that nobody uses wired earbuds anymore. It's just going to get all tangled up in there. Good luck using the other ports on that computer. At least your headphones will smell good. Just like my mom used to do, cutting my cheese with an exacto knife. I've always wanted wondered how Swiss cheese was made. Another contender for the Met Gala, this fashionable cheese necklace. Uh, I got news for you, David. That's not real cheese. Neither is Cheese Whiz. Her portable fan is broken, and that's a shame, especially with this worldwide heat wave. This poor woman, her partner's a hoarder, taking electronic scraps and turning them into useless electronic devices that she's then forced to use. It's really only useful if you're comfortable enslaving a hamster. It's like that episode of Rick and Morty where the entire civilization powers Rick's car battery. PETA would not like this one. He's eating Pringles at his computer. Not sure how he didn't notice that mess sooner. Yeah, I mean, what can you even say about this? My man clearly knows how to eat a Pringle. I'm not sure why he needed this Rube Goldberg vacuum cleaner Pringle dispenser device. We've got a woman posing for an Instagram photo and it kind of looks like they photoshopped her into a, a goblin. Don't let social media distort your view of a realistic human body and don't commit to unhealthy habits to try to meet those standards. It's not possible. Want to see more ridiculous iPhone hacks? Check out this video on the screen right now. Click it, check it out, enjoy it. Thanks for watching.